radio milestone. We have confirmed parachute deployment. Seven years later, the OSIRIS-REx mission is finally complete, landing in the Utah desert, bringing an asteroid sample collected for the first time by a U.S. spacecraft. It was absolutely like chills. It was just, it, it was incredible. A space enthusiast himself, Arizona photographer Andrew McCarthy was there to experience this amazing milestone at the Lockheed Martin Waterkin campus in Colorado. When the cameras are off, People were going nuts. They were so excited, uh, you know, because, again, you know, they were working on this mission for over 10 years. And, uh, you know, to see it finally, uh, you know, the, the, the capsule safe and sound in the Utah desert was just an incredible moment, incredible relief for everybody. In that capsule is known to be precious cargo from the asteroid Bennu, containing rich soil and remnants nearly 4.5 billion years old. I'm really excited to see what they find in this sample. Um, you know, fingers crossed it's aliens, but it's probably not going to be aliens. I have a feeling uh, they're just going to find some really fascinating uh, geology in there that's going to give us insights into how our own planet was formed in the early days of the solar system. That sample has since been hauled to a laboratory at the Johnson Space Center in Houston, where it will be processed, then shared with researchers around the world. Andrew says this experience was something he will never forget. So being able to just be around this uh, you know, incredible community of people that all ha are so passionate about space and furthering humanity's footprint into space and understanding our cosmos, uh, you know, it's just incredible in its own right. And something exciting yes. to mention is that the University of Arizona will keep a quarter of the sample where they will study and examine it. And then the samples and their initial analysis will be revealed very soon. Very soon. And I'm yes. marking my calendar for Friday, next Friday, yes. October 6th. What happens then? Yes. So that's when they will get the samples of this original analysis mm -hmm. and they'll present uh, their findings. So um, depending on what it may be, anything yeah. big, anything small, yeah. I'm sure it'll it'll be exciting no matter what. <laughs> Andrew said aliens. He's hoping for proof of aliens. <laughs> yes, with exactly. This sample. Exactly. And we had him on our show, I don't know, a couple of weeks ago with the blue moon pictures oh, that he took. Yes. His photography yeah. is amazing, so um, no wonder they wanted him there because yeah. he ha definitely has a passion for space and um, all of that fabulous yeah. stuff. So. We, kn we knew he was delightfully enthusiastic yes. about space, which we are as well. Michaela, thank you.